you know, I, I kind of like to read what the reef looks like by the waves. I can tell there's a reef over here on this side and it ends there because the, the waves are breaking are shallow. Picks up really high over here. There's waves spread going further out. There's one area over here. There's hardly any waves and it tells you the water is a little bit deeper here. So it's a, more of a surge channel during high and low tide peaks. So I fish over here because the water tends to be a little bit turbulent. The, uh, the turbulent water stirs up the bottom and it stirs up nutrients as well as food for the bigger fish. Plus, I've got two big hits over here. One of them cracked my bubble, the other one took off and went on, the fish must have went under a ledge because I lost about 20, 30 yards of line and I couldn't do anything about it. I had to cut it. I just picked up two papillo over here and nothing that side or that side of the reef, but everything seems to be right here. So you have to read what the uh, Reef looks like by the waves and the water movement, you can tell what's happening. Thank you. Now you got a nice hit. As soon as I toss the bubble out, as soon as I toss the bubble out, within a split second of hitting the water, something attacked it. That has never happened to me before. As soon as the bubble hit the water, something splash and hit hit this and it's taking off it's going now it was on the right now it's going to the left you can see it look at fighting the tip don't know what it is never had that happen where it just hits the water and boom something takes off okay it's coming in let's see what it is Wow, look at that. It's a papillo, but as soon as the thing hit the water, it came in. Wow. Right on. Whew. Good morning, Mr. Papillo. Oh, beautiful morning. Even though something took a big whack on my bubble and cracked the bubble, took it out and got a tangle on the reef, I had to cut the line. But I put on another bubble, something cracked this one too. It's been a good morning, a lot of fish activity out here. Boom, nice throw, nice throw. Yeah, fish, as soon as that thing hits the water, fish are whacking it already. Just let it keep the rod tip high. Just let the bubble walk the surface. A little bit splashing. Get a chink 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 with the BBs. That there's a lure in the back. The fish will come in and do the rest. Nice surfing action off the bubble. I can hear the ching 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 from here. That's it.